Only Guy Wrestling q and I'm here with my guest making his return, the longest reigning ACW Light Heavyweight Champion, Diaz. How are you feeling tonight? How I'm feeling? Feeling pretty sore, to be perfectly honest. But I'm also feeling very proud. Proud of myself, proud of the entire ACW locker room, and proud of the ACW faithful that came out in force tonight here to respect the late, great Reggie Rivers. Tonight, the King of Maryland tournament, he did it for you, buddy. Took it all the way to the finals, but Kindred was the better man. If you won tonight, how would you have dedicated your win to Reggie? I remember two years ago, I wrestled Reggie in the second round of the King of Maryland tournament. That was one of my favorite matches. And I would have definitely brought that up. I would have told the ACW faithful the same way that I'm telling you here tonight. When I faced Reggie Rivers in the ring for the first time one-on-one, -on -one, I've learned so much. And I found a newfound respect for Reggie Rivers. I just wish that he was around. No. He's, he's seeing this. He knows that we're doing this for him. And I know that he would have been proud. What do you miss most about Reggie? Man, Reggie did not take anything from anybody. He would tell you exactly how he felt. And he wouldn't mince words. If he was, <laughs> if he was being done dirty, then he would tell you. And he would, he would not let it die. And that's something that I admire about him. A lot of people are very passive aggressive. Reggie, you could not put anything past him. And that's something that I admire in him. It's something that I try to carry with me when I go about my day to day. So let's talk about you and your um, title. How long have you been the champion now? Well, to be perfectly honest, I've lost count. But I do know it's well over three years. Coming up on four years, June 30th this year. So we had Ruckus, who would be your dream opponent at one time. Who would be your next dream opponent? Well, thanks to ACW, I've been able to work and do business with all of my favorites, all of my dream matches. Ruckus, Michaels, Amadio, and just tonight, actually, Greg Excellent. Almost the same way that when me and Reggie worked two years ago, we found a newfound respect for each other. And I feel almost the same way with Greg. So if you would ask me right here on the spot, I would have to say I want a rematch with Greg Axelman. So who would be your dream rivalry to put the title on the line to be against? I would love to also work Michael Zamadio again. We have new great up-and-comers, AC Wolf, Mi Amigo, Vic Ramon. So, if you want to put it like that, give me the straight up question, I'll give you a straight up answer. Vic Ramon, he's the hottest up and coming talent in ACW, and it would be an honor and a privilege to put the title on the line. A long program with Vic Ramon. So, where else does Diaz wrestle? Good question. Tomorrow I'll be uh, joining the 302, I'll be in Delaware. Hopefully, they'll have something for me. I was talking with some management, and things are looking good. So I'm going to show up, see if they have anything for me, and I'll kill it just the same way that we always kill it down here at ECW. ACW. <laughs> I've been dropped on my head a lot today. So <laughs> give me some, so give me some uh, slack here. So outside of wrestling, what do you like to do? I like to cry myself to sleep, put depressing memes up on the internet, and basically like cry out to people so hopefully they will feel sad for me. Not really. <laughs> I work 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, I do promotional graphics for ACW, and play PlayStation all the time. Right now I'm playing The Division, I love it, I'm still working on Final Fantasy XIV, working on the demo for Final Fantasy XV, I'm a huge gamer, so if I'm not working out, if I'm not working, if I'm not wrestling, I'm playing PlayStation. So if you, if you could make any kind of video game, what kind of video game would you make? Good question, because I actually have a whole bunch of doodles, and uh, a little architecture written down on a little sheet of paper in a little spiral notebook somewhere. I want to make my own massively multiplayer online game where instead of swords and shields you have Bluetooth earpieces and rings and smartphones and tablets and instead of fire magic you would send out tweets and instant messages for buffs and magic spells. You know, it's kicking this idea around in my head ever since I was little and I think it would actually work. If I had some sort of uh, backing, maybe a Kickstarter or something like that, so I actually knew how to code, I had a decent story, and a lot of good people working on it, who knows how far it would take What would you call your video game? 
<laughs> well, I want to build my own universe. I have an idea that it's actually kind of a commentary on the current state of things. And I wanted to have a title that, if you saw it on a list of programs or a list of games, it would immediately catch, you, catch your eye. So I would call this multi -massive, massively multiplayer online game Raver Sluts from the Future. I know we asked this before, but if they made a movie about Diaz, what actor could play you and what would the title be? Vic Ramone. I would want him to play me in the, uh, in the mini boss movie. And I want it to be like a Marvel epic. I want to have <laughs> Michael Zamadio have his own movie. I want to have Sicken have his own movie. And then we all come together in this giant like Civil War uh, assembly of all of our characters. And then like the big Galactus, um, Greg Excellent um, enemy comes in and we all like fight each other because we have strong personalities, but then we kind of get along so we can uh, take on the big baddie and then we become brothers. What would it be? What would you call the movie? Hmm. Or the group? That's a good question. I would have to go with that. <laughs> what you said. What Not, did you say? What would you call the group? Oh. Hey Vic, what would you call the group? The B team. <laughs> uh. All right. Getting monsters for a monster. There's only one way to be a beast, and that's to become one. <laughs> Hold on. You got any? You got change? The fiber? Hmm? You got ones? <laughs> Me? Mm, not really. All right. Hey, it's not about you anymore. Get back. So let me ask you a question. How long have you been doing indie wrestling Q&A or indie wrestling on the go? Uh, I'd say like two or three years now. And you've been doing a great job. Let me tell you about, let me ask you about the talent that you've had on your show. Who do you think is the biggest name on your shows? Uh, Kurt Angle, Nikolai Volkov. Wrong answer. <laughs> I would say the Mini Boss Diaz is your biggest uh, name on your show. But I'll let that slide because I've been dumped on my head a couple of times today. So, you know, live and let live. Now, if you had the option of a dream interview, who would you interview? Um, probably one of my idols that I looked up to is Jim Ross. Jim Ross is an excellent answer. I would also like to have uh, some interview time with Jim Ross. If I was Jim Ross right now, what would be the first question you would ask me? I would ask him about how he conquered Bell's palsy. That is a great question. And if I was Jim Ross, I would probably say the same way that I do my announcing very well. Jim Ross, hey, look at this. We've got Indie Wrestling Q&A, Indie Wrestling On The Go. Back to you in the studio. We're, we're, what's your next upcoming shows after 302? That's a good question, and actually, I don't know. <laughs> next weekend, actually, I'll be in Pennsylvania working for RCW at their Rumble Mania 9 or 11 event. I'll be teaming up with Rayburn, taking on Riot City's Most Wanted, Sicking, and Matt Wally. And do you like playing the heel or the face character, or does it bother you? I like beating the shit out of Matt Wild because it's going to be great. <laughs> Aren't you like the same height? Oh no. No, I'm taller than you. You are? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so where can the fans follow you at? Follow me on Twitter at BM2KX. That's BM, Baltimore, Maryland, the number 2KX, Kite Xylophone. You can find me on Instagram, BM2KX. You can find me on YouTube. BM2KX. You can find me on Facebook, BM2KX. And in fact, cut out all that crap, Google BM2KX and you'll find everything DS. And see That's branding right there. You can find On The Go Wrestling on Facebook.com slash QA Wrestling. YouTube, just search the Indie Wrestling Fan, all one word. Anywhere wrestling goes, On The Go will follow. You can follow Diaz anywhere wrestling goes. He always kicks some butt. And any, closing, and, Matt Wild. and any closing words? <laughs> I want to thank you once again for allowing me on your show. It's always been a pleasure. I feel like we have a lot of fun. And I hope that everybody that watched this video also had fun as well. Because if we're not doing this for fun, if we're doing this to tear other people down, if we're doing this to try to build ourselves up with other, other people, then I don't think you're doing it right. We're here to have fun. We're here to do what we love. And once again, I want to thank you so much you're for allowing me the time. And, of course, behind the camera, if it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened also. So thank you very much. And I'm Jason Neville signing out.